Already a violent Labor Day in Birmingham. A man is dead after a shooting at a nightclub early this morning. WVTM 13's Maddie Davis was out there this morning. She's back out there this midday. Maddie, what do we know so far? Sarah, just before 6 o'clock this morning, Birmingham police got a call about a shooting at the Quest Club. The club located on 24th Street South is open 24 hours of the day. Now here's a look at the scene from this morning. Two men were shot. One was taken to UAB fighting for his life. The other was declared dead on the scene. While officers were on the scene, authorities received a call from a suspect confessing to the crime. The suspect was taken into custody for questioning. Authorities believe a verbal altercation led to the violence. Now, this is not the first shooting here in 2021. An officer was shot while he was working as security. Live in Birmingham, Maddie Davis, WVTM 13. All right, thanks so much, Maddie. Well, this latest deadly shooting adds to an already tragic Labor Day weekend here in Birmingham. The bloodshed beginning Friday. Police were originally called to a traffic accident on Arkadelphia Road. There they found a man shot in the driver's seat of a car. The victim, Demarcus Moss Sr., was killed in front of his two children. They were also injured during that incident. Birmingham Police Department says that his daughter uh, might have been shot. She was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. And then on Saturday afternoon, police found two men shot in a car on Inglenook Street. One man was pronounced dead there. The other passed away at the hospital. Hours later, over on 3rd Avenue West, police found two people shot. They were rushed to the hospital where people where they died. Police say that two other people were shot during this incident. They should be OK. Ten people have been shot since Friday and Mayor Randall Woodfin is responding to these tragedies. He says it's believed that some of the recent murders are gang related. Woodfin urging parents to and friends of gang members to tell your loved ones to call a truce and put the guns down. He says too many lives have been lost and none of this is worth the cycle of retaliation and death that's crippling our community and literally snatching your son's lives. You can find the full statement from Mayor Woodfin right now on the WVTM 13 app. Uh, in that statement, he also calls out the gangs by name, and he says that we are beyond tired of burying our sons.